Hey guys, it's Callum from English Shooting. I'm here at the Great British Shooting Show 2023. I'm on the Highland Outdoor Stand and I'm joined with uh, AJ from Tier One. Thank you very much for giving us your time. And you've got hey, no some problem. Uh, interesting new bipods. To we have. Us. So this time last year, we launched our um, ELR competition bipod yep. and it's been very popular. And so what we've decided to do this year, Craig's been busy designing and engineering. And, uh, and this year we're launching what we call our ATAC bipod. Okay. So this is, this is really a marriage between the ELR competition bipod and our lightweight tactical hunting bipod. So it incorporates what we feel are the best features of both of them. So it's still lightweight and compact, um, and, uh, but it, it's quite unique. So basically we've, we've incorporated a lot of movement in the, in what we call the pelvis here. So basically you can go from a truly vertical position. So if you need to get really high, you can do. Um, or also some of the tactical guys can use it almost like a um, like a monopod or you know like a, um, um, a hand mount basically. Okay. Um, so the bipod can lock its legs at 45 degrees, and again, if you swing them out, you can get super low. So if you need to get really really low on the bipod, you can do. It takes out all the height. So it's really versatile, really flexible, and you can get into pretty much any shooting position. So Craig last week was able to go out hunting and he was able to get in a position where you wouldn't have been able to do on any other bipod. One leg was at 90 degrees, the other one was extended out at 45 degrees like that against a rock. And he was able to get a steady shot and it was the best position for him to get yeah. in, to get a safe shot. So it's really unique in its, in its ability to be able to adapt to any environment and any circumstance. So um, it uses our smooth cam QD lever system. So it's really quick to detach and detach. Um, we've so not that, seen a faster QD uh, system. So that's Picatinny. So this, this is Picatinny. It's yeah. also available with Arca okay. uh, natively, um, and it's modular as well. So you could buy the Picatinny version and then yeah. switch over the Arca head if you need to as well. So the way this Picatinny adapter works, we've got a, um, a flat side and a hooked side to the mount. So when you mount it for the first time, open the lever all the way up, um, put the hooked side onto the, the Picatinny rail, yep. and then close the lever, and then tighten this by hand finger tight, open the lever to the halfway position or the, the adjustment position, mm -hmm. give it another half turn and lock that down. And then that should be set then. And then it's set and forget. You can basically just detach and attach the bipod then in a second and it will be rock solid each time. So it's really quite unique um, in the way that we've designed this to be um, very quick to detach without any shift um, or any any slop at all. Okay. So it's uh, well. That's it. When you're um, when you're getting your position, you want it to be rock solid. Don't absolutely. You, know, you don't want any wobble exactly. You don't want to be messing around adjusting anything. So it's um, it's really good. It takes an initial setup, but once you're set up, that's it. It's, you, you're good to go. Um, we've also got a couple of different cant tension locking um, features. So it comes standard with the little finger nut. Um, we've got this new key that's available, and also it's available with our pod lock system as well. Okay. So um, yeah, so it's been really popular so far. It's been um, it's been very busy today. <laughs> been flying off the shelves. Um, I think we've only got uh, only got one Arca left, and um, we've got a couple of Picatinnies left. So. Um, it's uh, yeah. It's and what's the, the retail price? The retail this? price on the on this version with the short leg is three six nine. Okay. Um, the long leg version. So this is the one hundred and eighty mil leg. We do a two hundred and thirty mil leg version, which is is ten pounds more. Three seven nine. Okay. Um, so there are deals to be done at the show today, um, but uh, yeah, that's the RRP. But and, and if you were to buy, um, say, the shorter leg version, can yep. you buy the longer legs as well, or is it, or is it um, one unit? We 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 do a fifty mil leg extender. Okay. So you can, if you want, put leg extensions on and then swap between the two. Um, also, the feet are modular. You just need a bullet tip. You can release the foot and switch between our, our rubber feet and our, and our spike feet. You're saying they, that they look pretty nasty, but then you, you want to be able to sink into something. Yeah, and get yeah. That grip. Now, 90% of the time, you'll be yeah. fine with the rubber feet. Yes. But there yeah. might be the odd occasion where if you're on really stony ground or something like that, with the spike feet can be really helpful. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's our ATAC bipod. And, um, and what other yeah, really sort of for it. like other sort of features? So I've I've seen tier one about, um, and you, it always looks like really high quality bits of kit. Like all of the controls that you're pressing there, like it just it sounds high quality. Like <laughs> you can you can get that sort of uh, 
um, that feel from it. So yeah. what other sort of features on your bipods do you have that sort of set you apart from, from other people? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, so all of the materials that we use are 7000 series aluminium. So generally it's 7075 T6 aluminium, um, and then we, which is aerospace grade aluminium, and we use aerospace grade carbon as well. Um, with the ELR bipod, the majority of it is 7,075 and the legs are 7,000 series. So it's all very high grade aluminium and carbon that we use and everything that we make, um, we make manufacture in-house here in the UK, okay. um, just outside Wakefield in Yorkshire. Wow. So everything's UK made. The only thing that we don't make ourselves in-house are the rubber boots, yep. um, but everything else, all the springs, the little pins, screws, we all make those in-house um, here in the UK. So we source only the, the finest materials mm -hmm. and um, it's all made on five axis CNC machines. So we were, able to, we were able to make things to a really high standard with very little play. So these are our bipods. Our rings, for example, are quite unique. You get one piece of aluminium, whether it's our standard rings or our, our mono mounts, yeah. you either get a, an aluminium puck that goes in the machine yeah. or a block of aluminium and then a ring comes out. And it just needs, it just needs surface finishing and anodizing, um, which is fantastic because yeah. it just means that you know, there's, there's, there's no room for kind of human error and uh, like the rings are incredibly repeatable and it just makes everything really, really solid and high quality. Well, yeah, this is like getting behind, you know, British design, British made, yep. making something help. Yeah, there's something yep. like that fully support. It's something that we do at Magload as well. Yep. So I can, I can relate to, to that. But yeah, having a feel like the controls on this just absolutely super high quality. Everything feels rugged, um, robust. It's not, there's a lot of stuff going on here and yet it doesn't, doesn't feel that heavy. No, no, we, we, exactly. The materials that we've used have helped it to stay really lightweight. Yeah. Um, there's lots of machining in, in critical parts. Everything stress an, uh, goes through stress an analysis okay. to make sure that it's going to be able to take loads from heavier caliber rifles and things like that. Um, so yeah, the, the amount of engineering that goes into them is actually really quite quite impressive. Well, yeah, you can, and, you can uh, see with all, all the little bits, right, as you're pressing things, what's moving and going and on, the, yeah. the intricacies. Usually when you get stuff that is quite intricate, it becomes fragile yeah. and it, it maybe feels um, not as strong, but everything feels rugged. And um, yeah, like the design yeah. on this, absolutely well, well, incredible. Well, well, that's what we aim for. You know, it's a bipod that could be used quite happily in tactical situations, yep. and it can also be quite happy on the range or even hunting. You know, it's light enough that you can stick it on a stalking rifle, and you know, not feel like you've got this big heavy lump on the front <laughs> yes. weighing you down. So, so um, when yeah. you're out in when you're out hunting, you do you want that? You're going to be carrying that rifle around for quite a while. Yep. Every uh, every pound saved is uh, it's going to save your shoulder. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I know, like I said, we do have our, our lightweight tactical bipod. Okay. Uh, it's called the tactical bipod, but it's actually used a lot by stalkers. Right. Um, it's called the tactical bipod because originally it was commissioned by the military, the special forces, okay. um, and then it's evolved really from there. Um, so we've kept the tactical brand, um, but that's our lightest weight bipod. Whereas we think this is going to be really popular with people that want one bipod to do everything. Well, uh, that's it. I mean, you know. Talking about the the price, it, it is on say like the higher end of things, but yeah. you get what you pay for. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be going and having to buy three different bipods or at those prices. Yeah. So having one thing, you know, the the expression buy once, cry once, you know. So I think that's that's what you're going for with this is yeah. you're going to get something superb, high quality and fit for many yeah. different purposes. Well, that's it. Well, Craig, Craig, um, who's the you know the the, the the boss here at Tier One, his his mantra is we make it better than anyone else or not at all. That's, that's, that's their goal. And like I said, everything, everything's made in the UK. We source all our materials from the UK. And um, yeah, we, we're really proud of what we do here at Tier 1. It's, um, like you say, it's a premium product. Yep. There's no getting around that, but it's premium product because it's designed to be a premium product. Ab absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, again, like that's something that we do you know, with Magload. We may not always be the cheapest, but we aim, you know, that, that whole mantra and ethos of like, when we wouldn't bother doing something if we don't think we can do it better or offer yeah. something that isn't currently available. So yeah. it's great to see another UK company, British company no, doing exactly the same. Absolutely. That's fantastic. No, thank you very much for your time. Um, is there like, a website that you that Yeah, can you can, you can check out? us out at tier-one.eu and um, check out our socials. So um, our, our social media channels um, on Instagram and Facebook is at tier1eu. So yeah, Brilliant. check us Brilliant. out and, and if you've got any questions, feel free to drop us a message. It's usually me that will be responding, so we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Excellent. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, as always, hope to see you soon.